Hi everyone, this is Adam Muscardis from DW Technology Group and had a little project here this afternoon that I wanted to share with you. Pretty common request when you're processing payroll in-house and that is after you complete the payroll you need to typically upload some type of a retirement or pension upload to the provider. So in this case uh, I have uh, Fidelity as the retirement organization and they're saying uh, we need to upload each individual's amounts at their, the end of each payroll. So in this case, I've got uh, the employer mat or the employee withholding, uh, Roth withholding, the employer match, and then various loan repayments as well. And then they also need to match it up to the employee record. So I'm going to show how to get this type of report using the custom report writer. So the first thing I do is I studio, and I do have to write some code. So there is certainly some technical. Uh, things going on here um, but what I do generally is I say run this code and I get my report layout down here in the grid so I can start to see that I have my withholding my Roth withholdings any loan amounts and my employer match and uh, don't worry about the information here it's all bogus data but when I get this code then I can take this information here and I can come back into the human resource application in MIP and the way this works is, as I come up to the reports menu at the top, come into the custom report writer. And for the sake of time, I'm just going to open up the one that I've already got built here, but I'll show you what it looks like. And here is that report. And just to show you kind of behind the scenes, all of the code gets uploaded into this SQL script. So that's where it all gets plugged in. And I've just started to drag on my fields under the report again don't be intimidated by this but this is what the final result looks like and now once I've linked it in my HR program after each payroll all I have to do is come out to reports this is where I've picked the place that you could put it under any menu path benefit plans there's my fidelity upload report I pick which payroll it's associated with so this is reading the payroll schedule behind the scenes pick this date say submit and now I've got a perfectly formatted report and all I have to do is come up to this little green floppy disk say export as an Excel file and it'll ask me to go and open it and then this is again perfectly formatted no gaps spaces anything like that in the report uploads very cleanly to the uh, retirement provider and you're off to the races so I hope this was a helpful video thanks